Hi everyone, I'm back. Yay! Um, you'll see me sipping on my little Pepsi over here from time to time. But today we're gonna be doing um a video for Game Beauty. Not for Game Beauty, just you know, a collection that I bought from them. Um let me bring it up. It's the Phantom Thieves Limited Edition um makeup collection for I believe fan not no. What was it? I believe it's like a video game. Med uh, who knows? Okay, it just looked really cool, really interesting, and I might. I still need to look up the show itself because of the fact that it just looks so cool. So Persona Five Royale is what it is. So I did order it. I ordered the whole collection, and it is going for one ninety six. I got it on the payment plan. So if you want to treat yourself, don't feel bad about doing it. And if you need to get it on the payment plan, because that's definitely what I had to do. There is nothing wrong with that, okay? Some of us, because I mean, look at these. Look at the color stories on them. They looked amazing. So I really wanted it, so I ordered it. And I've had it for a good minute. I just haven't gotten around to opening it and showing it to you guys or even using it. So it is still in its box, nice and preserved. <laughs> I did not get the one that's got like a special insert or anything like that. I didn't go that far. That one was like $216. I was like, I'm just going to save my... 20 30 ish bucks and get this so it's nice and protected in there so we got this little bundle there little bundle here one of the palettes i really don't know what comes in it we got those here's a gnat um <laughs> these another palette so i really like i honestly don't know what comes in it I know it's got each individual piece for sale on the website itself still. There are still some left. So here's the first palette. I've done my foundation, the, as you can tell, it's in my eyebrows right now. Look at that, look at, look at, what is that? I don't even know what that is. It's like, uh, you know, when you don't use your foundation for a minute. Oh no, that is legit foundation is stuck in there. But, <laughs> this one is Metaverse Eyeshadow Palette, Persona 5 Royale. This is so cool. Nice, sleek packaging. Simple. Here we go. It's got like an eye looking thing. Cool. Ooh, this one's like dark and dreamy colors. Love it. Wonderful. Let's look at the photo. Does, was the photo anything like it? I can't remember. Does the photo, does the photo do it justice? We're about to find out. Because you know, sometimes you look at the photo, you know, that is not what I received. So let's see, did they give it to us? Just like what they advertised. Um, It's a little brighter in the photo than what I received. So the exposure on it, yeah, definitely. The exposure on it is just a bit brighter on the website, which is fine. I do like darker palettes, so that one's okay, not disappointing. We have another one right here. This one's Phantom Thieves Makeup Palette. So same thing, nice, sleek, plain packaging on that one. Open it up. This one's got them all right here. Cool, cool. Love it. Oh, now this one's definitely bright. That one just calls to me. That one's awesome. Love it. Beautiful. I'm gonna have to look up some inspiration in a second. So this right here, let's see what they say. We got 04 Gion Goemon Goemon. Somebody needs to help me with these names. 05 Milady. 03 Carmen. 06 Cinderlon. Cinderlon. <laughs> 02 Zoro. And one Arsene. So, let's get these open. I feel like I'm going to do a lot of swatches. You guys bear with me. We will get through it. Right, maybe we should go in order. One, two. Here's one. Here's the packaging. Like this. Around like that. Oh, so here we go. Now it's making sense. Okay. Oh, nice. These are so cool! Oh my goodness! It's got like the whole person like printed on the... Not just a piece of the person, the whole person. And it looks like they are liquid lipsticks. Oh, wonderful. 
excuse my arm if you're still not used to who I am. So, but we are going to do swatches. So there's one. Very cool. Very neat. The lipsticks themselves, I won't do want to give you prices, so let me see if I can pull that up. The lipsticks by themselves will run you who knows? Oh, hot night liquid lipstick, twelve dollars. Two Zorro. Again, nice cool boxes. He's on there as well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh. I love a good black lipstick, so we'll see how that one works out. Number three. First three. Here we go. Carmen. So here she is. If Do you play this? Do you, have you seen this? Like somebody? Give me input. <laughs> the bottle a bit I love I love this this is great I love the detail to this I can see why the price is what it is wonderful they're not too bad of a size they're about the length of a finger so about an average bullet lipstick is what I would say Goemon 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 it reminds me of a Digimon I don't know if that's what they were aiming for, but that's what it reminds me of. Oh my goodness, that one. Oh, that one looks so promising. Make sure I get that dipped in there. <laughs> Mix it up because it has been sitting a minute. So get the color out. Make it a little opaque. Oh, a good purple lipstick. Do I ever really get a chance to wear it? No. Does it mean it's going to stop me? No. One day I will wear a bright, bold purple lipstick. And then we got five Milady. Wonderful. Do you guys enjoy the new camera? I feel like I can show you more stuff up close and like packaging wise and on the phone without it doing that weird blurry thing that it was doing before. This one is like a hot, hot pink. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. You see that? Beautiful! Love it! These are awesome. Did I show you her on this one? I hope I did. I have short term memory. <laughs> Cendrillon. Oh, I don't think I take short term memory lightly. It is very serious. But I feel like some days I really need to keep an eye out for it. Like that. What do you recommend to train my memory or help prevent it from getting worse? That's a beautiful blue. No weird smell or anything coming off of these, so that's also very exciting. Those are beautiful packaging though. And they're very light. Like they're sturdy plastic. They're I love that. That's great. And I think was it old Sephora? One one of the makeup um, retailers now has like, yeah, it was Sephora where you go in and you take your um, empty containers and stuff, or if you know you're not gonna use it anymore, you can wash it out, scrape it out, whatever. Take it there and they repurpose it. So I love that. And when I saw that, I was like, yay, go Sephora. Okay, so we're opening these up. Let's see what these are. Look at that, look at how cute that is. Blush single, ooh, and this one says four violet heat wave blush. So this one's four, so apparently we're going backwards this time. Oh, wow, wow, that is a vibrant, beautiful red. That is, oh, and the packaging matches the box. That's, I love it when the, Inside packaging matches the outside box because most of the time I can't keep the outside box because um, it becomes very cluttered when I have the actual palette and then I want to display the the box as well. I just can't do it. It just doesn't work out. Oh, and this one looks so promising too. Oh, this one is Noir 3. 
I was like, where are you going? And then I was like, oh yeah. Ooh, this one's so pretty. And these are matte so far. They're looking matte. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that purple one. It's wonderful. Maybe we're going to go with the dreamy look today. I don't know. I don't know. Am I going to go out in public? High possibility. Here's the next one. Queen. Ooh, this one's like a nice mauvey color. These are very, this is a very bold collection, apparently. Panther. There's just nothing wrong with that. I just didn't expect it to be so bold. I just saw it and I was like, oh, this looks so amazing. Let me order it. Treat myself. And I'm very excited about it. Oh. Oh, yeah. Panther. I was like, did I tell you the name? So those are those. So I'm going to do some contour off screen in a minute because of the fact that I didn't do that yet. Um, just because of the fact that we do have blushes to work with. You Should I, do you want me to swatch these? Like maybe I should swatch them for you at least, right? So there's that light pink one. I'm going to do it on the back of my hand because of the fact that, um, that was Panther. This one is Noir because of the fact that my hand is probably closer to my face right now. Then we got Queen. This one's probably just gonna blend in with my skin too. Oh, there's a little color right there. Now this one, this one is just vibrant. Vibrant. Ooh, wow, wow. We can work with that, we can make it work. We always do. And here we go with Shape Shifter Shadows. So, let me get them in order because of the fact that it triggered me a second ago because I was just like, oh my goodness, I went out of order. <laughs> okay, so number one, Captain Kid. Let me get out of the way so you can, like this. You see him? Oh, I swear, the attention to detail. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so soft too oh my goodness i am done normally i only see these type of shadows in liquid form so i don't get to use them as often um but that is amazing to joanna it's like that i swear the gnats right now in this season are terrible anyone else live in georgia you suffering from the flies the gnats and you just no matter what you do, they seem to find you. Look at this. I always struggle if you guys know this. Okay. Oh my goodness. What? They're so soft too, you guys. Buildable. Oh! You... You don't understand that one. The blues. When I see the blues, ooh. That's another collection we're gonna have to bring up later towards the end. Necromicon. Did I ever read you this one? Yeah. Necromicon. Necromicon. I love the names too. They're very interesting to me since I know nothing about this. This one's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, the shift already that I see in there. You see that shift in there already? Oh my goodness. How is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so those, let me look at how much those are going to um, run you. Those are going to run you $6 a piece. That is for this, $6 a piece. They're not that shabby either in size. Maybe quarter size right there. So one gram of product. I don't think it's bad. I don't know. Robin Hood. I'm not the best person to ask about prices. When it comes to makeup, I like collecting it. Look at that. Robin Hood. This one's beautiful. This one's going to be like... Oops, that one is very, ooh, very 
flaky, very sensitive. Do not go in heavy with that one. I thought it was going to be like the other ones, but it's a lot softer. A lot softer. And it does not disappoint. Look at these. Look at these. Oh my goodness. My swatch for this one does not um, give it justice. So sorry. Beautiful. Lovely. So we're moving on to these. Whichever these are. So these say after school eyeliners. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this one. There we go again. Two, three, one. The eyeliners are gonna run you ten dollars a piece. So we go with this one. Oh, they're in like they go different directions. Cool. One joker. I'm full of swatches. I have lip swatches here. I have those. And then I have the blushes. It's wonderful. We're having fun. So Game Beauty in Joker. Nice. Simple. My hands gave out on me. Oh. Did I tell you how much the blushes were going to run you? I don't think I did. Whoops. The blushes run you $8. So that's not bad either for the sizes you're getting. I think this is a plain normal black one. Oh, yes. Nice classic black one. Oh, two is Mona. Oh, cute little kitty thing. I'm going to guess blue. I could be wrong. Oh, and the, the, the printing is also in blue. Look at that. Definitely gonna guess blue. Oh, such a beautiful, beautiful rich blue. Goodness me. Three is skull. I'm gonna have to look this up. They all look so interesting. This one's gonna be like a yellow. Yep, look at that. Yellow, can you see that? I know it's bright in here. There's yellow writing. So that's probably how you'll be able to tell what your eyeliner is. It's just by the writing on it. That is a decent yellow eyeliner. That is impressive. Normally on my skin tone, that yellow just fades into it. Because I have like a yellow undertone. It's just... Oh, I already opened it without even telling you who this guy was. This is the one... Oh, who's this? This reminds me of the Joker, dude. This one's Fox. Okay. So this one looks like a light blue. Oh yes, it is. It's like a very nice pastel blue, a contrast to the other navy blue. And we got five, which looks like it's going to be a green. This one's the girl that I showed you earlier, and this one's Oracle. Okay, promising. Oh, that's a very nice lime green. Vibrant green, neon green. And then finally, six crow. I love this. If you like this game or show or, oh, it looks like a gray. You would love this collection. I would, oh, it's a white. I assume because of the fact that it's got all the characters on there. And it looks like they go through a lot of the characters in each of these with the blushes, the lipsticks. The eyeliners, even the eyeshadows, they all seem to be very different. So, where did we start? We started with the blushes. No, we didn't. We started with the lipsticks. <laughs> and then we went into the blushes. And then we did these. 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 It's like these are running, but my swatches were not the best. So, don't, don't judge them harshly on that. So, let me do my contour. My brows. And I'll be back. All right, so here we go. I know, just little subtle contouring is all I do. I am interested in this one. So I'm going to do that on, you guys know that I do the right here. So let's see how that goes. Where did I put my mirror? Light. Oh, I love it. It's a nice little kiss of color. I did tap off the excess. I went in very light, very light because it's very pigmented. Uh, very, I know. 
exaggerating, but it really was. See, only a bit of color. Only a slightest little boop in there. And then I tapped off the excess and it was more than enough. So if you're paying $8 for this blush, I feel like your money's gonna go far with it because of the fact of how that did. Okay. Uh, I don't, maybe between that one, this one, that one. Maybe I do a blended mixture. I might do the little bit of red and the violet to even it out on its tone. Because that is, ooh, that is, huh, let's see. Nice. So I did tap off a little tiny bit off on my hand after I did tap it. And I did tap into the violet first and then a little bit into the red one. And look at that. Oh, I love that. That worked out very nicely. Ooh. Sometimes you gotta take risk. <laughs> into the violet, into the red. Tap it off. Tap off a little extra. And then you go in. And it is very pigmented. Oh, yes. Yes. So, yeah, your money is definitely going to be well spent if you order, even if it's just the blushes. It is if you order just these and blushes, I think you'll be very happy. That is wonderful. Oh, my goodness. I'm very happy with those blushes. Sunkissed. So, I can be sunkissed in the winter once that comes around again. A little bit of kickback in the pan. Nothing too serious in my opinion. So blushes are wonderful right now. I am very happy with those. Like I said, the boxes are amazing on them. I really don't keep the boxes. I tend not to because of the fact that I just, I don't know. I should start keeping the boxes just to protect the palettes themselves. It makes it harder for the baby to get into when he's in his makeup mood and I'm not in here to supervise. The keyword supervision. I've had many palette casualties because of that. <laughs> but he does love the makeup. He loves the makeup room. So let me baby proof a couple of these before we move on. I'm going to do a quick highlight. I'm going to use Kaleidoscope. Oh no, I do have some. Um, I thought I ordered some of the Game Beauty highlighters. Give me a second. So I was right. I did have one. It looks like it's somebody tried to get into it already. Elemental Pearl 3 Geo from Game Beauty. This is my first time trying it. Look at that exciting. Baby probably tried to get to it before I could. So let's go in. It looks like very pearlescent. Okay. I'm trying to see if I need to go in with the light hand or not. I think I'll be fine. So let's see. See how this is going to go. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Surprising. Okay. It's only surprising because of the fact that it just blinged out on me so quickly. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So I have had other palettes by this brand. Um, You can see them on my channel. I've done them all. The um, Heartbringer. And I can't remember all of them, okay? You know, I just, I will link them though. If you really want to see them, I will link them down below. They are wonderful palettes. I've loved the looks I've created with them. And the fact that it's like game themed and stuff, it's really cool. It's really interesting. Quality wise, no complaints anywhere. Oh, I didn't even do my brows. Look at that. Failing. Okay, and now we can move on to the eyes. So let's do an eye look. Again, I'm going to pause you so I can try to figure out um, what inspiration I need to do for this. This. <laughs> I'll be right back. I think we're going to do a classic smoky eye. I think that's what I'm going to go with in the end. It's just classic. Classic smoky. So I'm going to begin with... Oh, these are so pretty. I just... Scientific Model Eden. This really navy blue, really pretty color. Oh. 
Again, tap off the excess, go in light, because don't do what I did. I went in pretty kind of heavy from because I'm used to having to. But it picked up a lot. And I did prime my eyes with the usual e.l.f. eye putty primer. Not going off of that at all. I'm going away from that is what I should say. Have not. Have not. Just tapping it on. It's very pretty. Very nice. We're gonna go to outer space. I'm kidding. I only looked for like a second and I was like, I don't know what I wanna do. So I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it today. Doing blues. Okay, so we got that going. Now the outer edges, I wanna go in with more on it. It's like this really shimmery black shade right there. So where did I get that blue from? It's gonna go on the outer edges. I should have swatched my my brush off. Oh goodness. Okay, so Morgana might not be the dark black that I thought it was. Okay, let me go back in. We're gonna do the outer edges here. Oh, it is, it is, it is. You just gotta build it up. Gotta work with this one a little bit. I get it, it's got like shimmer little flakes in it, so it's a little harder to formulate. I do like it so far. Once you build it up, it is one solid color, nothing patchy, so I can live with that. You can still stand by it. Now, if it were patchy and it weren't sitting, and then I would tell you that and be like, look, we're starting to have issues, but no. I'm able to build it up. I'm able to layer it and it's working. There is no patchiness so far with that now. So in the center, I do, I think I do want to lay down a base. So these are the options I have. What's going to be in the center? I'm having a difficult time to pick, picking. I think I'm gonna go with the unexpected and do this um, Futaba, it's like the lime green. So I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and see how that does and layering it down, laying it down, layering it. This one, this one, looks interesting. No base, just it's shimmer shade. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's find out, fingers crossed, and I think we have a success, you guys. Success, risk paid off, it can hold its own. Oh, yep, definitely can hold its own, yes. It said, I am here. Do not doubt my quality. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, that is where we are at. Wonderful. So on the bottom lash line, what shall we do? I think I'm going to go in with Cruiser of Pride. I do like that one. That one looks interesting. I'm going to go in with a slightly thicker flat brush just so I can get under the eyelash. Just correctly get a good amount of color down in there. nice so for the inner corners and everything you know i have to do that one you know i have to that is just amazing there's no way you did not see that one happening we're at 29 minutes we're not doing bad oh my goodness normally i run over time so we're gonna go in with this a nice little detail brush oh i forget that i told you guys to go light and here i go oh oh under the brow, let me use up some of that under my brow before I go any further with this one. That is amazing. Look at how that layered on top of that darker shade right there. And according to highlight, who, who, what? 
We are here. We are bright. We are it. Oh, I love that. Okay, that is wonderful. Now for the eyeliner. I don't know if I should do the white. Kind of wanted to do the white, but I kind of don't want to mess up. I think I'm gonna, cause I don't wanna mess up my white eyeliner. Cause you know, you put color on it and then getting it out. But a white eyeliner would be so cool on this. I think we're gonna go for it. I think we're gonna do it. We'll see how it fares. I'm just trying to maintain it on one side of it though so I can wipe it off and get a little bit of it off come back in okay wonderful try to wipe it off again and then go back over it to try to add some more opacity to it actually looking white Okay, I do like that. I have a phone call coming as I'm a little distracted. Okay, I do. I like the boldness of the white eyeliner. I like how it's coming out. Like such. Nice, okay, I do like that so far. We got a nice dark eye and then a bright vivid like white eyeliner I'm gonna go in with some lime color just because just because okay so because of that though see every time I do it I'm like I'm just going to add this I'm gonna add that I don't know if that's the one that's no, not the one I want I think it's this one yeah, this one this is necromicon i want to add that to the center on the bottom lash grab a little bit on this brush right here in the center just for a pop oh wonderful wonderful okay so i'm gonna do my brows my lashes and the other eye and then i'm gonna be back and we'll finish off with a lip here you go. Look at that. What do you think? I think it looks good. I think it looks good. <laughs> I'm like trying to see the liner with my lashes down. Like, did I mess it up? I might have right there. Oops. Just a bit right there. You see that? Oh, wow. Well. The lashes get in the way. So, the lashes help balance out the white eyeliner, and so it's not so like, bam, it's kind of looking kind of uneven. It does balance it out, like I said. Go with the flow, go with that process. Um, For lips, I think, I think I'm gonna go with, I don't know, we're gonna try something different. We're gonna go with, gonna go with, I think this is the hot red one, right? I believe that's that first one. We're gonna go with, Our seam in the center, like this. You know those ombre lips with the black. I kind of see if I can. Oh, I got that in the center. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do that and pull it off. We're gonna experiment. That's why they make makeup removing wipes. We're gonna explore together. Because we're gonna grab this black now. Because the black look a little muted, a little toned down. They still look wet, so I don't think they're transfer proof. Yeah, they're not transfer proof. They're still very wet. So we're going on the edge. As such.
We'll, we'll bring it together. Trust the process. If not, there's makeup wipes. Ha. Ironic, right? We will see. We will see if we can make this work. I have faith that it'll balance out. It might not, so. Oh, there we go. There's the pigment. Okay. So not the most impressive black lipstick. It does feel very moisturizing though. Almost just like a bullet lipstick feeling to it. It's weird. It's very satiny. Okay, so we got that going on. We'll go back in with the red. I'm wondering if I should use a brush. Uh huh. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay. Now that that's done. See, don't you love brushes? Because this is where they come in handy. All these brushes that I have. I have to have one that I can use for this. Nice and clean. Let's get the red into the black. So we're blending outwards because I don't want the black to go any further. So I'm blending it outwards. Blending the red into the black. I don't like that. It's working. I think it's working. You might not think so. You might be like, oh my gosh, Mar. This is the wildest thing you've done and I don't like it. Which is fine. Okay. I'm going to pause you so I can clean up the edges and I'll be right back. There we have it. Final look. It came together. I told you. I had to clean up the lip a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Like, I got out of the lines and everything. So, it is a little, um, you see how it kind of tends to want to run? So, you might want to actually use a lip liner and, um, set some boundaries for the lipstick. Um, or go very light-handed. Go ahead and use a brush to line it with the lipstick before putting it on. Just because it is a little bit more on the runny side. Only complaint with that. It's very hydrating feeling. Feel really does feel like the consistency of a bullet lipstick, like old oh, classic little satin feeling to it. So it's not uncomfortable at all. It's very wearable, very nice. Sits well. I'll tell you if it bleeds later on in the day. It shouldn't. I don't feel like. Um, especially now that I cleaned it up. I hope it doesn't. Eyeshadow wise, I love the palettes. I did have to work a bit with the Morgana one, but like I said, it's got a lot of shimmer in there, so that's probably why. It is very um flaky. So with the pigmentation that comes with it, it is very dusty. There is kickback on it. Um for all of that sparkly you did um you were able to keep quite a bit of it still. You see that inner corner highlight? Like, oh my goodness, I have no qualms at all with these. Those single ones, those are amazing. The eyeliner went on very well. They're very pigmented, vibrant, vivid. They are really great. Um, In my waterline, there is some color in there from ColourPop. I used their gel liner in Electric Daisy just to add a pop. So it doesn't like get lost and muted in there. I set a boundary too. Other than that, the blushes were great. That one is highly pigmented. Go very light. Dust off the excess. If you have to, pat some off on your hand or something so you can build up the color so you're going to know how much you need. I did not need much at all. I did a blend of the lavender with the red and it made like the perfect shade. In my opinion, for mine, my skin tone and it blended into my contour really well so it looks like one nice even gradient. Sometimes, you know, the contour can be really 
bold and the blush gets lost or sometimes the blush is really bold and the contour gets lost you don't want either one you want a nice balance and that's what i got today on here where i like on um, just on the apps of my cheek right here just a little hint of color wonderful like i said if you need a refresher on the prices because we are at 40 minutes and i don't want to keep you any longer my phone is trying to update because i haven't used this one in a while um yeah so the whole collection without any like special of anything it's um 196 dollars yeah with the full box collection it's got the gift box and everything it's 196 with no gift box with the gift box is 216. Uh, you can buy just the gift box apparently for twenty dollars it's like got nice little organization with it um you can do the phantom thieves bundle it looks like it's got the eyeliner eyeliner the blushes and a palette that one is for 96 dollars the ultraverse bundle appears to have the lipsticks the um single shadows and a palette that one's a hundred dollars and then the heat wave blush singles eight dollars lipsticks twelve dollars eyeliner themselves ten dollars the single shadow six and then the actual palettes themselves are eighteen dollars i think they're all great um as you saw the highlighter i'm extremely happy with that it looks great on my skin tone does not look um like ashy or anything on my face when there is no light hitting it it blends away nicely into the skin when the light hits it when the light's not hitting it does not leave streaks or anything um if you have any questions if you want me to do any specific look with any of these specific products you want me to break it down further let me know leave a comment um otherwise let me know what you think of the look bold yes i already know that one <laughs> but i'll see you guys in my next video bye